Coming up, it's Q&A time. That's right, we're gonna be looking at the hashtag 3D printing on YouTube. What's up everybody, Noah and Pedro here with the Q&A. We're doing something a little bit different. So shout out to Angus from Maker's Muse. He is starting a hashtag 3D printing on YouTube. That's where we answer a couple questions. So let's get started. All right, the first question is, what is the first thing you guys 3D printed? Sure, so the first thing I 3D printed was actually a planter that I designed in Tinkercad. It was sort of my first steps into 3D modeling. And uh, that went on to be a pretty interesting print. It took like 30 hours or something like that. It, it actually was, was in, in a book. Oh, it got featured in a book, a 3D printing book, yeah. Because it was uh, sort of new back then. It was, uh, what, 2012. Yeah, so when we were first starting out, we didn't know like that we had enclosed the whole printer, so it was yeah. printed in ABS, and that actually gave characteristics to it that made oh, it be put split. in the book. Oh, because it's split, that's right. It was like a little face, tiki looking planner, and it has all these little splits and stuff on the face, and it's like angry, and it's like, it really added to the character, so that made it kind of cool. Yeah, so my first 3D print, um, back then we were running our own agency, and we had just finished a video game for Tron, and the light bike model that I used in there, which mm -hmm. you could also look at the tutorial on how to build that below, um, I wanted to print that out and see what it actually looked like physically. So my first model was a 3D print of a Lightron uh, bicycle that we yeah. did for a video game. Question number two, a popular 3D printer that you don't like. One that I kind of, it's sort of popular and I don't, don't like it too much. It's the Ember 3D printer from Autodesk. Um, it's a really expensive printer. Um, it's it's six to seven thousand dollars. They just raised the price up actually. That's right, to seven thousand five hundred, I believe. Uh, but anyway, it has a really small build volume, and it's sort of nothing better than the Form Labs printer that has a really large build volume. Um, so it's a little bit overpriced, though. It's not to say that the printer is really bad it's it, it we do respect that they open source the hardware and the software um so that's really nice but um as far as it being a, a, a recommendation probably wouldn't recommend it there's a lot of better options out there and we did have a review that you can check out um and see sort of some of the nitty-gritty of dealing with sla dlp type printers it's a little bit toxic <laughs> yeah one of the things is that you can't just reach up and grab it you have to have like right. this whole suit on which you can see in the video yep there you go Next up is a popular 3D printer everyone seems to hate, but you love. Yeah, do you want to answer that one? Uh, I think probably the M3D. The is... micro from M3D. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of people are having problems with like the hardware, I guess, with it. And it's working just fine on our end. Uh, we're using micro print on the Mac and um, Simplify 3D, and that seems to perform really good with those combinations. Seems that they're trying to have people use their own software, and that's probably a big mistake there. Yeah, um, you can see in their forums too that there's quite a few people having hardware issues and things, but um, since then they've alleviated a lot of the problems. So if you pick one up now, you'll probably be in good shapes. Okay. Question number four What is your must have 3D printing gadget? Uh, for us, it's definitely going to have to be a Raspberry Pi. Oh yeah, the Raspberry Pi with OctoPrint uh, makes it so that your printer is on the Wi-Fi network and you can access it through there. And OctoPrint is just an amazing piece of software. Um, it's open source and there's just updates always happening. So yeah, it's... another thing is probably going to be the Raspberry Pi camera, which you can also hook up to that and do okay. time lapses, do monitoring from there. So definitely a must-have. Definitely. Question number five, best free or low-cost 3D printing software? Uh, we're going to have to say Tinkercad, 123D Design, yeah. and Fusion 360 are all free options. That's right. They're all from Autodesk. Um, and then Mesh Mixer is another good one, too. But I actually have a, a nice little playlist for you guys. If you are yeah. looking to get into 123D Design, I have a couple tutorials that I put together using 123D. Mm -hmm. And as far as uh, browser-based ones, Onshape is also Check out Onshape, too. And the last question, number six, best 3D printing tip. I think the best 3D printing tip that we have is to look around your house and try to solve common problems that you might have. That's um, right. It's always like connector pieces or holders. Um, don't print out like statues and things like it's that. It's like a calibration thing when you do the statues. It's nice, it's, it gets a little stale, but um, you know, maybe an iPhone case or mobile phone case. Something, something that you interact that... with every day. Okay, so there you go. Those are some questions. Um, we want to throw out, uh, tag somebody else. To, to do this too, the hashtag 3D printing on YouTube. We want to tag James Bruton from X Robots. 
and XYZ Aiden. XYZ Aiden. Soft Robotics. And Bob from I Like To Make Stuff. Yep, those are three really good channels you guys should check out. Yeah, we'll have them linked below. And we wanna hear from you folks. You can answer them in the comments below and we'll probably share them on the blog or on our 3D Hangout show that we have every Thursday. All right guys, we'll see you next time. And until then, keep on making. Bye.